Hi, right, Miss Mr. Sweetser, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, thank you for doing this interview with us. I appreciate it. Your name is? My name is Victor Sotelo. I'm with KTAB KRBC. I believe I met you once over at the courthouse. You were standing in the in the hallway and I, I went and introduced myself to you over there. Okay, and Victor. Uh, well, um, as I told Mr. Uh, Donatello or uh, from KTAB <laughs> that um, my attorneys have suggested uh, I do not speak to the media without them present, but I'm willing to make a few statements. Okay. Well, um, I want to know, well, first of all, you know, the obvious question is, uh, did you do it? No. Why, why would you ask me that question? Because, oh, I've been incarcerated after four years as they've been trying to frame me for uh, this murder? Hmm, maybe that's why you should ask me, did I do it? No, yeah. I did not do it. And it's a shame that our criminal justice system has gotten so bad that not only black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. So you, <clears throat> you are somehow equating this to the Black Lives Matter movement right now? Well, if a Harvard graduate who's a productive member of society can be falsely accused and arrested um, for a murder he didn't commit, um, I'm just happy that I have money to pay counsel because if I was indigent, I'm sure they're going to continue on with this framing. It's ridiculous. So let's 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 talk a little bit about that. You said after four, how, how many years after four and a half years, you have no, been it's, um, it's coming up on four years, coming up on four years. After four years, you have been charged with the murder of Thomas Niblo. And you said they are you, you say they're framing you for this. Why do you think that is? Because I'm innocent. No, no, no. Why, 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 do, you, why do you think they're trying to frame you? Oh, well, um, I'm sorry. I'm, let me. No, if you're fine. Emotional, I'm, I, I completely I'm understand. I understand. Go ahead. Um, it's not every day you get an M16 rifle poked in your eyeball and said, if you move, we'll blow your head off. Um, it has not been disclosed. Um, Chief Stan Standridge's inappropriate relationship with the victim's wife. It has not been disclosed that the victim, the murder victim, my brother-in-law, was a cross-dresser and had an apartment across town where he uh, dressed up as a woman and there are pictures of him on the internet as a woman. Um, I would be looking at those suspects. They did not ask for a copy of my lie detector test when my attorney, uh, Doug Mulder, offered it to them. Um, they have been unwilling to, they sealed the indictment. They won't even give my, um, uh, attorneys the quote unquote proof they have. It, this is a travesty. This is an absolute travesty of justice. And I wasn't a social, uh, social justice warrior before, but I sure am now. This has made you into a social justice warrior. Oh, absolutely. There is no justice going on down here in the U.S. Uh, justice system. Thank you. That's all I have to say. Hey, real, real, real quick question. Can you go over? Your... That's it. 